Hello. At the end of this video, we will give you the formula for creating a profitable business. Coming up with an idea for a business is very easy. But coming up with a profitable business idea is a big challenge. It is advisable to build your business on something you have passion for. This is because building takes time. You are bound to have some sort of setback in order to perfect your product or service. If you have no passion for that business, you will get bored and discouraged to continue. Remember some years ago in Nigeria, when rumors flew around that Linda Ikeji made so much money from blogging. The number of bloggers in Nigeria skyrocketed. Everyone and their grandmother created a blog. How many of those blogs are still active? After they started and noticed only 3 to 15 people were visiting, their drive died. Do you have an idea how long it took Linda Ikeji to build her fan base? It takes some level of passion, sacrifice and dedication to build a product or service that will be profitable. So, you want to make money. I will rephrase that. You want others to give you the hard-earned money. What did you offer? When you are building a business, it is only natural you are its number one fan. You become so confident that the world would love it and everybody would buy. It is good to dream, but try to be close to reality. Pitch your idea to a family or friend that is blunt. Do not present to someone who needs something from you, as they will be biased. Try not to take criticism negatively. Always seek to tackle negative comments in order to improve your business or idea. It is natural to feel that someone might steal your idea. In some instances, friends and family enlighten you on existing and better ideas out there in the industry. Knowing the strengths and weaknesses of the competition puts you in poor position to explore opportunities available to be a threat. So, what is the formula for creating the perfect profitable business? Demand Demand is a problem your business or idea wants to solve. I give my hard-earned money to DSTV and Netflix every month because they entertain me with shows and movies. I use Quickteller, happily paying their convenience fee because they save me the stress of manually queuing to make payments. I drive to Iyaoyo Amala restaurant every weekday because they sell affordable ghetto food. People visit Linda Ikeji's blog daily because it is their source for Nigerian-based news and stories. I follow Maraji and Monkele because their comedy sketches make me laugh every week. You should see a trend here. All these products and services are very useful. They do something for the public. They add value. I choose them over their competition because of how they attend to my needs. You do not need to join the public and flood into an industry. Your strategy should be smart with a sense of direction. One of the most popular business in Nigeria is poultry. Except your poultry would supply eggs to a location that there is too much demand and little supply or 
your poultry eggs are three times the size of those on the market, there is no point entering the diluted industry. But you can perform wonders in the poultry industry without selling eggs. If there are so many poultry around you, then create a business to take advantage of that. Do your research and make poultry feeds that are effective and affordable. Instead of joining them to fight for market share, why not make them all buy their chicken feed from you? If you are in a market where rice selling is about to explode, you can join them and fight for the market. You might actually make it. But if you do not have the knowledge, land or finance to farm rice, why not sell something all rice farmers cannot do without? Why not start making strong and affordable sacks? The rice manufacturers would need your sacks to bag their rice. Yes, there are already sacks in the market, but you can manufacture one that repels rodents and is safe or has handles at the edges for easy carrying. You really do not need that much money to start. You can start saving a portion of your current income. You can also start your business using an affordable model. Instead of starting with 250,000, you can start with 10,000. You do not need to own or rent a store. You can sell from home. You do not need to build a website and pay for hosting. You can start with a simple WordPress or your Facebook page. Just sitting and waiting for a break will take you nowhere. And taking a loan to start your unproven idea will lead to unnecessary debt. Start a mini version of that business and grow from there. If you really need a loan, at least you would have tested the idea on a small scale and make necessary mistakes. Let us know in the comments below what your thoughts are. Kindly subscribe, like and share this video. Cheers.